Hello and welcome to another Catechism Tuesday. Today we're talking about the Lord's Prayer and the fifth petition. And the fifth petition is this. Forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. What does this mean? We pray in this petition that our Father in heaven would not look at our sins or deny our prayer because of them. We are neither worthy of the things for which we pray, nor have we deserved them. But we ask that he would give them all to us by grace. For we daily sin much, and surely deserve nothing but punishment. So we too will sincerely forgive and gladly do good to those who sin against us. So why is forgiveness so important? Well, first of all, because we sin every day, and we sin regularly throughout the day. And number two, because without forgiveness, we'll get what we deserve for our sins. The wages of sin is death. And ultimately, if we remain in our sins, we will be separated from God for all eternity. But God in his mercy does forgive our sins. And because he has been generous and gracious and merciful in forgiving us, we also are to be forgiving of others. There was a time when Peter thought he was being very forgiving, very merciful, and he came up to Jesus and he said, Lord, how often will my brother sin against me and I forgive him? As many as seven times? Peter thought he was being very forgiving, going all the way up to forgiving someone seven times. Jesus said, I do not say to you seven times, but seventy-seven times, or in some translations, seventy times seven. But the point being, Jesus is saying you are to forgive and forgive and forgive and forgive again and again and again. And then to illustrate the point, Jesus tells a parable. He tells the parable of the unmerciful servant. He says, For this reason the kingdom of heaven is like a king who wanted to settle accounts with his servants. When he began to settle them, a man who owed him ten thousand talents was brought to him. Because the man was not able to pay the debt, his master ordered that he be sold along with his wife, children, and all that he owed to repay the debt. When the servant fell down on his knees in front of him, saying, Master, be patient with me, and I will repay you everything, the master of that servant had pity on him, released him, and forgave him the debt. But that servant went out and found one of his fellow servants who owed him one hundred denarii. He grabbed him and began choking him, saying, Pay me what you owe. So his fellow servant fell down and begged him, saying, Be patient with me, and I will repay you. But he refused. Instead, he went off and threw the man into prison until he could pay back what he owed. When his fellow servants saw what had happened, they were very distressed. They went and reported to their master everything that had taken place. Then his master called him in and said to him, you wicked servant, I forgave you all that debt when you begged me. Should you not have had mercy on your fellow servant, just as I had mercy on you? His master was very angry and handed him over to the jailers until he could pay back everything he owed. In the parable, the servant is forgiven a massive amount of debt, an astronomically large amount of money but he refuses to pay back a substantial debt, but nowhere near the amount that he had been forgiven. The point of the parable is that God has forgiven us of all of our sins in Christ. The amount of forgiveness we've received is so much greater than any forgiveness we could give. But because we have been forgiven of so much, we are to be forgiving of others. All right, so that is the fifth petition of the Lord's Prayer. Next time, we will continue with the sixth petition of the Lord's Prayer, and I look forward to being with you again then.